Javari Monastery is a 6th century Georgian Orthodox monastery near Mitskheta, eastern Georgia. Along with other historic structures of Mitskheta, it is listed as a World Heritage Site by UNESCO. Javari is a rare case of the early medieval Georgian church that survived to the present day almost unchanged. The church became the founder of its type, the Javari type of church architecture, prevalent in Georgia and Armenia. Built atop of Javari Mount, the monastery is an example of harmonious connection with the natural environment, characteristic to Georgian architecture. Javari Monastery stands on the rocky mountaintop at the confluence of the Mkhvari and Eregvi rivers, overlooking the town of Mitskheta, which was formerly the capital of the Kingdom of Iberia. According to traditional accounts, on this location in the early 4th century Saint Nino, a female evangelist credited with converting King Mirian III of Iberia to Christianity, erected a large wooden cross on the site of a pagan temple. The cross was reportedly able to work miracles and therefore drew pilgrims from all over the Caucasus. A small church was erected over the remnants of the wooden cross in c. 545 during the rule of Garamai, and named the small church of Javari, which can still be seen adjacent to the main church from the north. The small church did not satisfy the needs of popular pilgrimage site, and the present building, or great church of Javari, is generally held to have been built between 590 and 605 by Garam's son Eris Navari Stepanos I. This is based on the Javari inscriptions on its facade which mentions the principal builders of the church, Stephanos the Patricius, Demetrius the Hypatis, and Adarnes the Hypatis. Professor Cyril Tumanov disagrees with this view, identifying these individuals as Stepanos II, Dimitri and Adarnes II, respectively. Nino's cross remained inside of the church, and its original postament can still be found here. In 914, during the Sajid invasion of Georgia, the church was burned by Arabs, but it managed to survive with only minor repairments. The importance of Javari complex increased over time and attracted many pilgrims. In the late Middle Ages, the complex was fortified by a stone wall and gate, remnants of which still survive. During the Soviet period, the church was preserved as a national monument, but access was rendered difficult by tight security at a nearby military base. After the independence of Georgia, the building was restored to active religious use. Javari was listed together with other monuments of Mitskheta in 1994 as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. However, over the centuries the structures suffered damage from rain and wind erosion and inadequate maintenance. Javari was listed in the 2004 World Monuments Watch List by the World Monuments Fund. Javari Monastery View from the southeast The Javari Church was built on the very margin of a cliff, with its western facade nearly hanging over a precipice, where it was strengthened by a contraforce wall. The temple looks like growing from the mountain, which was obviously the architect's plan. Javari is one of the best examples of harmonic relation of architecture with nature. It has two entrances, from the north and from the south. The building has the shape of a cross, prolonged from east to west, with each arm ended by semicircular apses. The Javari Church is an early example of a four-apse church with four niches dome tetraconch. Between the four apses are three-quarter cylindrical niches, which are open to the central space, and the transition from the square central bay to the base of the dome's drum is effected through three rows of squinches. An architectural achievement of its time. The lower row is made of four larger squinches, the two upper of smaller squinches, and finally the row of 32 facets, holding the dome. Thus, the dome rests on the walls, not on pillars, like in later churches, creating a single, entire space, an illusion of large size, although the church is less than 25 meters high. Presence of high transitionary niches between the main space and the four small rooms is another trick of the architect, who wanted to diminish the contrast between large and small spaces. The Javari Church had a great impact on the further development of Georgian architecture and served as a model for many other churches. The view of the dome and the squinches inside the church the leading element of the building, the dome has an eight-faceted tholibate. Under the dome, near the center of the interior, stands a postament, surrounded by an octagon, important artistic addition, which was originally at the base of Nino's cross, but now holds a new wooden cross. The four cylindrical niches between the apses lead to four rooms, two in the eastern part, the altar and the sacristy, and two in the western, prayer rooms for the ruler and for women. A writing above the latter room tells that its construction was funded by unknown Timistia. It also has a flat relief with depiction of the ascension of Christ. Internal walls were originally covered with ashlar, and later plastered and painted in frescoes, little of which survived. Ascension of the Cross 
Bar leaf above the southern entrance of the Javari Monastery varied bar leaf sculptures with Hellenistic and Sasanian influences decorate its external observable eastern and southern facades. Some of which are accompanied by explanatory inscriptions in Georgian and Tavrali script. The entrance tympanum on the southern facade is adorned with a relief of the glorification of the cross. The same facade also shows an ascension of Christ, a rather prevalent theme in early Christian art. The cross, which is a traditional Bolnese cross, is held by two angels. Northern facade is closed by a small earlier built church, as well as the western, visible from afar, are not decorated. Each window on the eastern facade has a decorative knob. Each of the three facets of the eastern apsis has a bar leaf, depicting rulers and noblemen. The left shows Dimitri, the brother of Stepano's eye. The central depicts Stepano's eye in front of the Christ, which is also explained on the writing. The right bar leaf has Adriners the Hypatis with his son and Archangels Gabriel and Michael flying above, but the identity is unclear, and some connect it with Adarne's eye or Adarne's too. Another bar leaf, with Stepano's two in front of the Christ, is found on the southern apsis. Possibly, the church architect, a kneeling figure, is depicted on the southern facet of the Thalabate. Decorations of the eastern apsis, knobs and bar leafs the small Garum's church, quadrangular in general proportions, has a cross-shaped interior. It is connected to a portal from the north, with the entrance to the church here and from the south. The church walls are covered by well-processed blocks. The conch was covered in mosaic, but only a fragment remains. A decorated niche is meant for the Catholicos of Georgia. The southern entrance is decorated by capitals with ornamental leaves. A portal also connects the two churches. The monastery complex is surrounded by remnants of walls with towers. The entrance with the gate was from the east. Uncertainty over, and debate about, the date of the church's construction have assumed nationalist undertones in Georgia and in Armenia, with the prize being which nation can claim to have invented the four apse church with four niches form. Erosion is playing its part to deteriorate the monastery, with its stone blocks being degraded by wind and acidic rain. Thanks for watching.